The rumors we've heard point to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra being the flagship model of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 range. When compared to previous Galaxy S Ultra models, the Galaxy S22 Ultra was a significant improvement thanks to its integration of a stylus similar to that found in the Galaxy Note series. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is expected to improve upon its predecessor in a number of ways. These include a larger battery, faster processing speeds, and a more powerful main camera with a rumored 200 megapixels. There are still a few months until Samsung unveils its next flagship phone, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. But in the meantime, we've compiled all the rumors we've heard about it so far. Release date and price of Galaxy S23 Ultra. The first piece of information we have is that the Galaxy S Ultra will be brought back as confirmed by Samsung CEO TM Rowe when discussing the discontinuation of the Galaxy Note line. The only remaining mystery is how soon it will show up. Since January and February have traditionally been when Samsung has introduced new Galaxy S phones each year, that's a safe bet. It appears that Samsung is sticking to their schedule as a new model has already been certified in Korea. The price of this Ultra phone is unknown, but it is likely to be at least $1,200 like the current S22 Ultra. Since its main competitor, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, begins at a more reasonable $1,100, we would welcome a price cut. Design and Display of Galaxy S23 Ultra According to rumors, the Galaxy S23 Ultra will look very similar to the Galaxy S22 Ultra, with rounded corners, a curved screen, and cameras placed separately on the back. One of the most distinctive features of the S22 Ultra is the inclusion of an embedded S Pen for use in doodling. No changes are ruled out, though. We have heard that the S23 Ultra is possibly longer and wider than the S22 Ultra, though the differences are said to be negligible. The leaker Ice Universe has also said that the S23 Ultra will have a brand new screen. Although it would be challenging to improve upon the 6.8-inch QHD mold panel and its fully variable LTPO 120Hz refresh rate, perhaps Samsung has a brighter or more efficient display ready to swap in as a welcome update. The S23 regular may have larger bezels, but the rumor mill suggests this variant may as well. Since the standard S23 and S23 Plus have flat displays rather than curved ones, this may not apply to the Ultra, but it could explain the slight increase in body size. Camera of Galaxy S23 Ultra The S23 Ultra should retain the four cameras on the back with one key difference. The Galaxy S22 Ultra's main camera reportedly has 108 megapixels, but the rumor mill has it that the next-gen model will have 200 megapixels. One reliable source claims that both telephoto cameras will retain their 10MP sensors and, by extension, their 3x and 10x optical zoom ratios. Finally, we anticipate a 40MP front-facing camera embedded in the top center of the screen. While only one of the five cameras appears to be receiving a significant upgrade, we're hoping that Samsung's unveiling of the new software features and camera modes at the launch will help the S23 series earn a spot on our best camera phones page. Processor of Galaxy S23 Ultra in the United States, Samsung typically uses Qualcomm processors to power the Galaxy S smartphones, while in other regions, it uses its own Exynos chips. This suggests that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will be powered by a combination of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the Exynos 2300. However, the rumors can't seem to settle on a single explanation. While some have predicted that the current variety of chips will persist for the time being, others have predicted that Qualcomm will be the sole global supplier of Snapdragon chips for S23 models. 
We're crossing our fingers for the latter, as Snapdragon-powered Galaxy S phones have historically outperformed their Exynos-powered counterparts, but Samsung is unlikely to completely abandon the use of its own silicon. Battery and Charging of Galaxy S23 Ultra According to rumors, Samsung is using the same 5,000 mAh battery seen in the Galaxy S22 Ultra to power the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Even though a larger battery would have been preferable, this size is standard for large Android phones, so hopefully Samsung has found a way to increase the S23 Ultra's runtime. The S22 Ultra performed well in many custom battery tests, but the iPhone 14 Pro Max lasted significantly longer. According to the rumors, the standard S23 will not experience any changes to its charging time. This means that the Galaxy S23 Ultra can be charged at a minimum of 25 watts and potentially up to 45 watts with the right charger. Once again, the 45-watt charger was able to charge the S22 Ultra to 67% in half the hour, which is good but not outstanding in comparison to the 65-watt and higher charging standards used by competitors like OnePlus. The Outlook Overall, the Galaxy S23 series appears to be getting minor tweaks rather than major upgrades this year. Though the Galaxy S23 Ultra may be getting more than a smaller sibling. While the rumored 200 MP camera and its potential to improve Samsung's most photography focused phone has piqued our interest, we're also interested to see how the new chipset will affect performance and other aspects, such as battery life. If Samsung wants to compete with the iPhone 14 Pro and other high-end handsets, the Galaxy S23 Ultra must be optimized to its fullest extent in terms of both performance and efficiency, and the Ultra Premium must be fully justified. As the release date of the Galaxy S23 approaches, more information about it is expected to leak online.